try to perfect your lifting technique every day, every week? Or like, how does, how, how do you get to those positions that are like, just look super solid when you lift? Um, I have, I mean, I've been working on it for 14 years. Um, mm -hmm. and I do, um, I was lucky enough to have really good weightlifting coaches when I very first started. Um, I didn't really have any experience, had zero experience with Olympic lifting. I think the most I'd ever done was like back squats and deadlifts in college. Yeah. Um, and, um, was naturally like squatting kind of came naturally to me. That was just something that, uh, my body seems to be built for. Um, but I had my very first weightlifting coach was, um, in the, he was like in the U S Olympic weightlifting program. Um, and he was like so he, a weightlifter. Yeah. yeah he legit. was legit. <laughs> yeah. He was legit. Um, so he like taught me from the ground up. So I think that that, um, that helped set a really good foundation for me. I just got really lucky that the gym that I went to, like, that's what he did. Um, and, and then from there, um, I, I like geeking out on really technical things. I'm a mm -hmm. perfectionist and um, I like complexity and I like technique and like deep diving into it. Um, I'm one of those athletes that probably, um, uh, I'm, I'm one of those athletes that asks all the questions. I need to know like the physics of how this works and why you do this and what the, what that's doing in your body and which muscles are activating. And like, you know, like I have to know. Yeah everything yep. like all of the mechanics um and i really like geeking out on that um and and yeah so i have a routine that i go through um it's probably iterated over the years a little bit um but i work positions with an empty barbell every single lifting session um and so i work on you know dialing that in and making that second nature um every session that i lift uh, okay. At this point, I think we're starting to figure out um, that at this point in my career and looking towards competing in the master's divisions that I um, need to worry less about my strengths. So it's becoming a less of an emphasis in my programming um, and more just like keeping up my engine mm -hmm. um, just because I have a, a pretty good foundation of strength at this point, but still like the positions for sure matter. Yeah. Uh, and there's always yeah. little things to perfect. Like there's always stuff yeah. that you're working on. It never ends. But yeah. So, <laughs> so with your shoulder injury, so mm -hmm. we're like handstand pushups kind of like, I know obviously doing handstand pushups were pretty much like not an option. So is that kind of one of the weaknesses you're kind of working on just to hone in to get a little better at that? Or, or, or what are the other weaknesses that you're working on? Yeah. Well, the, um, the shoulder injury at first was, um, I had a problem with vertical pulling, so I couldn't do, uh, strict pull-ups, uh, you know, chest to bar muscle ups, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I could pull a barbell off the floor, but I couldn't hang and pull, um, which was interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it took us a while to figure out that one. <laughs> but, um, but then I, uh, so, so for, from the end of the 21 season, um, 22, I don't know. I'm getting years mixed up. The one that I've barely missed the games <laughs> mm. by, by, um, one, by one point by one point is, yeah, which that is one. insane so. <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah so at the end of that one I, I had to stop all pulling movements and we thought we were rehabbing some tendinosis so i was just not hanging and pulling i took all those movements out um and then in somewhere in like november um the rehab wasn't working but i i started to feel better so i started trying to bring pulling movements back um, and it jacked me up. I had, I was in the middle of a workout and it, um, I had like a nerve lockup yep. issue. Um, and from that point forward, all pressing movements became a problem. <laughs> and so, uh, and so it was like, uh, I, I think knowing what I know now, I had a partial tear, Terry's minor. Um, and then I think what happened was that when I tried to bring pulling movements back, I, um, messed up my super spinators. It was like 
super spinatus. Um, and so then all pressing things became a problem and I couldn't do that either. Uh, and um, couldn't do anything until I had, um, I had my treatment like four weeks before the open started. Okay. Um, and so was slowly building back movements all the way through last season. Um, and after the season ended, I finally took the time to like rest it. Um, so now I'm pain free, uh, and it's all healed, fully healed, right, which is let's great. Go. Let's go. Uh, yeah. So then, yeah, this last off season has been totally pain free and we're just working on building capacity back. Um, okay. you know, it's weak because I hadn't used it. I had, wasn't able to use it properly for so long. Um, and then when I did use it, it was kind of just like you, we weren't training to like slowly build capacity back. We were training to like, you have to compete now. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Uh, so, um, yeah. So now we're, you know, being smarter about progressions and things like that. And awesome. Um, yeah. So we're just working on capacity, but nothing else is a, is a limiter. Yeah. So how are you liking the misfits, uh, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth gears workouts? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I hate them. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. So, so, so for the, for the yes. listeners, so Misfit Athletics has a, has a, a section of their program called like the, um, you know, first, second, third, fourth, and like so on gear. Yeah. And so pretty much is, um, it's all aerobic capacity workouts, mm -hmm. like uh, getting on the bike, running or doing something like that. And you have a time frame to hit these certain numbers and then you rest in between and you have to hit like the the certain gear it's like the fourth gear it means you got to mm -hmm. go faster from the last one so yeah the it's and they're long and they're they long and they're yes. brutal yeah <laughs> there's whatever gear they want you to be in is like two gears higher than you want to be in for that time domain yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh I mean, but yeah, for me, that's if, if there was uh, something that I'm working on, that's it. Um, yeah. So that's just constantly what I'm working on um, is just living my life on the machines, trying to get better at them. Yeah. I, I, I try to do those gears, but the problem is like, I, it's just, I literally only have like an hour and a half of time yeah. for me to work out. And so that's like, it's hard for me to do that because they take so long that it's just yeah. like, okay, like obviously, I mean, I know strength is not really a concern for me because I'm doing yeah. pretty good. So we're like doing the Metcons or, you know, stuff like that. It's just hard. So I'll just do like the math sessions of like 45 mm -hmm. minutes on a machine and, and go, but right. it's just like, I, I, it's just so hard for me to even do the, do those getting into those yeah, gears they're like, like 35 40 minute workouts yeah and it's just yeah. like oh yeah i can't do that and like for instance like today's workout it was uh it was a, an 800 meter run um 15 no 20 uh, no 15 ghc sit-ups and then 24 kettlebell swings and yeah. so i kind of had to scale it because the gym has one ghd machine and they're like right. so and they're so far away from the treadmills and i'm right. it's like and i have to use the commercial treadmills too and i'm like Oh yeah. Yeah. Sucks. <laughs> and so, um, so anyway, so we kind of scaled the GHC, but in the, instead of kettlebells, cause I was worried about, cause it was kind of like low ce ceilings where we were, I was worried about hitting it cause I'm so oh, no. damn tall. Yeah. So I'm like, I we just, I saw what I did was they just did hang dumbbell snatches, but I'm like the run, I was just getting absolutely smoked on and it was like so hard. And then like my, my gym partner, he's like, he's shorter than me and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But he was like going at a higher pace. And I'm like, how the hell are you catching up to me at all time? And I'm like, what, 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 what like what level are you on? And he's like at 0.5 higher than me. And I'm like, damn it. That's why. And I'm like, yeah. I gotta, I gotta get so better at these. But then like, if we do like box jumps or something like that, it's just like game yeah. over. He, he's like, right. just blows up. But yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like one, one thing I need to work on. is just getting those gears, especially like doing those like crazy moves, especially for the open too. Yeah. Yeah, Hunter and I have talked a lot about, um, you know, time management and like minimal effective dose, especially now that, you know, I've brought my training time down um, mm -hmm. from what it used to be. I can't just, you know, do all of the workouts anymore. I have to pick and choose. And so figuring out like what I have time for and how to fit it in and how to maximize the time that I have is like, 
that's a hard thing to do. And then there's like the things that you're like, oh, I really want to do that. But yeah. what I need to do is. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, oh, a heavy squat clean. Oh, yeah. yes, please. And I, I will do that. And like, oh, wait, right. wait, I have to. It's either that or run. Oh, I like squat cleans. Let's go. Exactly. Like, exactly. Off, off the gram. Off of the gram. Exactly. So. <laughs>